You are guaranteed to fail if you focus on texting, playing video games, or hanging out on Facebook. Personally, they're gonna might give you some satisfaction, but I could guarantee you on your business level, it's not gonna make any difference for you. And it's just guaranteed to have you fail if you don't focus on the highest and best use that you need to do. So what I wanna share with you today is what I personally do to be able to grow my businesses, what I do every single day. I focus on having the discipline to be able to do and keeping a structure and developing the habits of successful business building. Now, the first principle that I wanna share with you is the highest and best use. And what highest and best use means is that you always wanna focus on the top three things that are gonna move the needle and move the ball forward in your business. Highest and best use are things that you wanna focus on. So for example, for me personally, the three things that I must do and I must focus on, and anything that's outside of this, I delegate to a team or have someone else do. The first thing, and it's the most important thing, is the strategy. I focus on the strategy of my own businesses. I focus on the strategy for the clients how to grow their businesses, how to minimize the risks, and how to make the decisive key decisions that are really gonna move the ball forward. The second thing I focus on is relationship building. Every time I'm on meetings, I'm in calls, I'm in meetings outside in public in Vancouver, I'm meeting people, I'm connecting with people, people reach out to me, uh, we jump on calls, I add value. That's the second core pillar. The third core pillar is team cultivation, the culture, hiring, retaining, uh, potentially letting go of certain key members and whatnot. Those are the three core pillars that matter the most. Strategy, relationships, team culture, everything related to key decisions that need to happen within this business. So what you wanna do is you wanna narrow down. Whatever position that you are, if you're the CMO, the CEO, if you're the founder, if you're the entrepreneur, you're wearing multiple different hats, you wanna focus on what is the highest and best use of your time your resources, your energy, your mental capacity, all the things that you wanna focus on to be able to grow the business, grow your clients' businesses, help your target audience. What is that thing? Narrow it down to these three things. You continuously improve and optimize on that process and you set it up as a standard and you focus on just these three core areas. Anything that's outside these three boxes that you set for yourself, you delegate it to someone else. And obviously you don't wanna get tactical. What I mean by that is anything that falls outside of these things, you don't wanna just keep doing the same thing. Sometimes I even fall prey to this, you know, when someone tells me, hey, there's marketing automation, go in and check it or add this thing, or hey, there's this funnel page or there's this copy point I want you to revise and update. Sometimes I do jump into it, even though I know I shouldn't. So even for me, it's very, one of the, the fine lines and balances to be able to structure your day where you're focusing on the highest and best use without wasting your time on things that aren't gonna move the ball forward, right? But you delegate it to people that have their core strengths and be able to have them take care of it. And you just focus on what's gonna move the ball forward as the entrepreneur, the CEO, whatever position that you are in. Now, most of the time, I'm in meetings and on phone calls as related to the three things. On a personal side, what I focus on is I exercise, try to do the workouts I need to do consistently three times a week, doing strength training, uh, fitness, just to keep the body healthy, right? We've got arms and legs for a reason. It's for us to move and build our mobility. The second thing I focus on is the meditation side. Meditation is extremely important to me to be able to meditate every single day and be able to calm myself down, to relax, and just really be able to develop that self-awareness and that critical thinking. But really, you know, meditation is great for your spiritual, developing your spiritual side, developing empathy, and just living a much happier and healthier lifestyle. The next thing I do personally as well is I try to educate myself every single day on the way when I drive to work. When I drive back from work, I'm listening to podcasts, listening to things from Jay Abraham, Tony Robbins, listening from uh, Gary Vaynerchuk, listening to Investors Podcast, listening to all the things that are relevant to what I wanna do, and just continuously improving, right? At the same time, I watch videos, I watch, uh, I read books, try to budget about 10, 15 minutes, 30 minutes a day, focusing on those things. Now, one of the greatest principles that I can share with you that's worked extremely well for me in terms of the productivity and being able to move the ball forward and grow your business as an entrepreneur, or even anything that you wanna do in life, is time blocking. You wanna make sure that you schedule time every single day, every single week, to be able to block out that time, one hour where you're just laser focused on doing that one thing. What is that one outcome that you wanna achieve? And you just focus on that. The biggest enemy to productivity is trying to multitask and do multiple different things. It's the worst thing that you can do is shifting your mind to jump multiple different things. Now you might think, and this is a big, misconception is that you can, in your brain, you can just focus on doing multiple different things, multitask. What's actually happening is that your brain is just focusing on one core thing, and then you jump into another thing, it consumes a lot of your capacity, it consumes a lot of energy. You're actually losing productivity, you're losing focus, you're losing everything that you need to do to accomplish that one thing. So your brain, you're basically consuming an immense amount of energy in your brain. Just focus on one thing, and what I do is I time block every single hour, unless I'm doing filming like this, 
uh, for you. And then otherwise, I'm focusing on just one hour tasks. And I have an hourglass I don't have here, I have it at home where I flip it over, it's time by one hour. And that one hour, no distractions, no emails, no phone calls, no nothing. Everything's off. I'm just focused at the task at hand and the outcome that I want to achieve. The next thing that you can be one of the greatest principles for you, and I do this every single weekend, is um, focusing on really reviewing what happened in the week, right? You want to look at the strategy side, you want to review the week, how did it go, and build a plan going forward in the next week. Right? What is the outcome for this week? What is the outcome for the month? What is the outcome for the entire year? You want to make sure you set an outcome for your week month, year, because I know that there's so many things I need to adapt, especially the size that we're at right now, just focusing on adapting multiple different things, focusing on implementing it, optimizing it and whatnot. So that's what I want to do. Uh, that's what I share with you. Basically focus on time blocking and also reviewing the strategy and stuff on the weekends. What are your plan of action and reviewing your goals and your milestones that you want to reach. One of the biggest things that you can focus on as well is being strategic instead of tactical. As entrepreneurs, and also even if you're in a different position, it's our tendency to focus on tactical things that don't align with our strategic objectives. Simply put, we react to stuff, we answer emails, we reply to texts, we reply to calls when we're not supposed to, we jump on YouTube, we jump on Facebook, uh, messages, we're being bombarded with messages, we want to react, and then our brain, we're conditioning our brain when we do that to consistently react, and it consumes our resources. That's why it's important to minimize or eliminate distractions in your environment. If I don't get anything else done, what is the three outcomes I wanna achieve? And then you wanna focus on reverse engineering those three outcomes, what you need to do, and then just focusing on developing that. That's really the most important thing. And the next thing that you wanna do is then you wanna understand that you don't wanna be reactive. You wanna make sure that you can also jump in if you need to, but you wanna eliminate and start reducing it as much as possible. So whatever that is for you, think of it as levers that you wanna pull. You're pulling these levers and they're gonna give you the most leverage whether that be financial leverage, your team leverage, human capital, your knowledge leverage, or your knowledge uh, capital, or your relationship capital, or uh, your all these different types of capitals that you can leverage. What is the highest and best use of those things? You wanna focus on that. So that's it, that's what I do every single day and what I want you to do as well to be able to implement it. I also want you to comment below and let me know what are some high productivity tips, so what do you do during your day to day to be able to grow your business online, to be able to get the highest and best use out of the position that you're at or whatever it is that you do uh, every single day. What is the most productive thing that you found? And I might try it out, but I want you to share with, I want to share with you what worked for me and how you can get the most time out of your day. I think the last thing that I want to leave you with is you want to make sure that you develop habits. We as human beings are driven by our habits. The day at the time that we go to sleep, the time that we wake up, when we read a book, when we do these things, when you're able to structure and time block, you're able to develop good habits. Every single day, if you look at how many habits, here's another exercise. List out the habits and the things that you do every single time. If you map this out for a day, a week, a month, you can see how consistent it is to your habits, how we are so programmed by everything that we do in our minds based on the things that we've done over and over again, where we follow a consistent schedule. If you wanna change your life, change your habits. That's one of the most powerful concepts that I learned from a mentor. You want to develop solid habits and that's repeatedly doing every single thing. And I think it takes uh, five or seven days of doing something over and over again every day to develop that habit in your mind. So if you want to work out, you know you just got to work out one single week and then you can consistently maintain. And eventually it's going to become a habit. You're going to feel like it's weird that you're not doing it. So that's what I do. List out your habits, develop solid good habits, and you'll be on your road to success. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.